everybody. This is Brian with Wonder Arts and Adventures. Today we're going to do a little bit of wood burning. And for those of you that think you can't draw or, you know, have a tough time just sketching stuff out, I'm going to show you an easy way that you can get started and then you can follow along and attempt to do the wood burning. I just wanted to show you real quick. These are some stencils that you could get at Michael's. They go, they come in different packs. You can get Sea Life, you can get Rustic, uh, Outdoors, all that stuff. But anyway, if you can't draw, you can take and just trace these out and stuff. And as you can see, I've done Sea Horrors um, and stuff. But I also have a surfboard template that I've made and I made one, sketched it out the first time and I use it over and over to cut these out. But anyway, this is a piece of wood I've got from Home Depot. It's roughly, it's shelving wood. Uh, it's like a soft pine. And uh, the softer the wood, the better you're able to burn, shade, do whatever. So. What I'm gonna do here in a little bit, I'm gonna go outside and uh, just take my little jigsaw and I'll cut these patterns out. And then uh, I'll be back here in a little bit and uh, we'll get started wood burning. Okay, now I've got the turtle cut out and the surfboard right now. But I know if y'all know the price of wood is so expensive, I'm going to cut up and use every little piece I can for some kind of little craft project. So you can see all I'm using is a jigsaw. And you got to be very, very careful when you cut out like around the turtle and stuff like that. That you're very easy so you don't accidentally cut, cut their fins off or whatever. But next I'm going to do the seahorse. And like I said, you don't have to cut them out. If you want to just put them on wood and then practice tracing with a wood burner and do it that way. But I'm doing a little different project today and I'm still going to wood burn. So I just hope y'all enjoy. All right. The next thing I do when I get everything cut out is I take my orbital sander and I use some 80 grit and I will take all the sharp edges off of everything. I will try to round this down like the look of the surfboard, have the taper on it. Um, on my turtle, also I'll be rounding down the sides, the, the shell, everything. Gotta be very easy with this one because there's not much holding that together so we don't wanna break it. So what I'm gonna do is lay it down on another flat board and everything so I'm gonna try to get a tapered edge without taking the drawing off and uh, try to get it to look more like a turtle shell as you can see I had another a little bit of scrap which I'm gonna do like an old sign on this one I just cut the edges to kind of give it that weathered look and then I'll go back and wood burn something on it and make it look like an old old board but anyway, that's that's the next step, and I'm gonna get this done, and then hopefully we can start some wood burning after we get done. All right, everybody, I'm back from cutting and sanding. Didn't round it as good as I wanted to, but still, everything's got a taper on it, even the turtle. What wood I've got. But uh, okay, earlier I showed y'all that I bought brand new wood. You don't have to use that. Believe it or not, this was just a piece of scrap I cut out, made a little heart, and with a jigsaw and orbital sander, you know, you can bring it back to looking like brand spanking new. But I wanted to say a little bit about uh, some things not to do if you're going to get into wood burning make sure 
that you never use any kind of toxic wood, anything like cedar or anything that's going to burn and, you know, leave something, you know, in the air that that's harmful for you. So mostly I either use yellow or white pine. That is my preference. It's a, it's a softer wood. Don't use anything pressure treated. So I just wanted to let y'all know that before you get started, do not use anything that puts out a poisonous gas or anything like that, especially cedar. So I've always wanted to try a wood burn on cedar, but I think you'd have to suit up with respirator and all kinds of stuff like that. Anyway, for those of you that is uh, new here and just now viewing this channel, I'll be using a little wood burner. It's got an angled tip on it and it's got an adjustment for your temperature and everything. I always crank it all the way up to the max temperature. Um, my wood burner comes with a little pedestal that you can see here to keep it off of anything. Um, especially anything that's laminate stuff like that you don't want to lay it on uh, because it will you know the heat from it will burn things um, but anyway just uh, try to be safe with this like I said this is for anybody that's just now wanting to learn how to wood burn so what I'm gonna do today is I already pre-drew um, this I used a, uh, a stencil that you can get from uh, Michaels or whatever and you can see I just laid it on the piece of wood and traced it and of course like I said you don't have to cut it out like I did you could leave it on one solid piece make a square and, and do your drawing in it and then just go back and wood burn but what I want to do today I'm going to take the wood burner and I'm going to trace all these outlines out and then I'm going to show you how to do shadowing and just get started this say for you that haven't done this this would be a nice little practice run so let's get ready i'm gonna get my wood burner set up temperature up and get ready to go with it so uh if you got any scrap wood laying around and you got a wood burner hope you join me Trying to get this as close as I can so y'all can see the details today. What I'm using is an angled tip. They have all kinds of different tips that come with the kit when you get it and uh you can add lettering uh they have those kits as well but i just use this it's kind of angled and i've got it where i know how to turn it the right way to get my shading and stuff and you can just practice on you know scrap wood stuff like that But you don't have to really bear down hard. The only thing is, I mean, it takes time. And that's why sometimes I have to do time lapse on my videos. Just depending on the detail. This one might not take that long. But like I said, for those of you that is just learning or wanting to learn wood burning, I would just suggest, you know, get you some kind of stencil, something that you really want to try out. And then, uh, you know, just have at it, have fun. Like I 
The only thing about these two, they sometimes they get hot. It's got a little shield on it, and then it's got a rubber grip. But I mean, if you're continuously pointing down, you can feel the heat off of this thing. What I'll do is along the edge of the shell, I'll come in with the wood burner, press down just a little bit harder. And get to get that line. And I'm gonna do the same thing at the edge of the flippers or whatever you call them. And then what I'll do is I lay this tip on its side and I'll go to the edge and I'll just drag ever so lightly and let up off of it as you go. Kind of create a little shadow there.
finished with this, just putting in some little darker highlights around the edges, trying to make it stand out a little bit more. You could really put a lot of detail into this if you want to. But this is just like a, I don't know, a quick little deal just to, you know, show y'all how I do it. I have done some wood burnings and got so in depth with the detail that it's taken me several days, you know, that I'd have to stop and uh, come back to it and stuff. But anyway, this is just a, a quick little sea turtle. Uh, like I said, I cut this one out, but if you want to get a piece of wood, and uh, you can trace it out with a stencil and stuff like that. And then just, you know, practice with your wood burner. You don't have to cut it out like I did. But uh, anyway, I hope y'all have enjoyed this video and uh, learned a little something today. Maybe we'll, if you get your materials together and, and you wanna do something, just, you know, like I said, drop me a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see or would you, what you'd like to try. And then, uh, you know, we'll work on it together or something. But um, anyway, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, please make sure you like, subscribe, tell your friends. And uh, hope y'all have a blessed evening. Thank you.